<sighs> okay, so we're live here. I'm Tanya Smith, for those of you who don't know me. And today I have Victoria, and I, I admit I can never say your last name right, so I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> the the Zvonchek Pharaoh is a bit much. Yeah, the so. Zvonchek part, I guess. Okay. It's a very cool name, but I never know how to say it. So, <laughs> so <laughs> she's kind of the, intimidating. Yeah. Um, what nationality is that? Is that the... I am uh, Hungarian and Slovak and Ukrainian okay. on my father's side, and Irish and English on my mother's side. Awesome. But I married an Italian. Nice, awesome. I love it. <laughs> there you go. Classic American, right? That's right. <laughs> I'm Heinz 57. <laughs> cool. Okay. So Victoria is the owner of Audrey's Boutique in Spokane. And actually, let's talk a little bit about that. We had a little conversation kind of privately about your brand. I think people might be interested to hear what we talked about. So when did you buy the boutique? I bought Audrey's. I officially owned it as of December 31st, 2012. Okay. Um, I had uh, essentially managed the store for years before oh. that. And it was something um, my husband and I knew that we were going to buy the business. That mm -hmm. something we knew we wanted to do. I had owned a bridal salon on the East Coast for many years. And I, you know, worked for Lord and Taylor's and Marshall's and, and all of that. So this was when we came out here, I sold my bridal salon. And my husband kept saying, well, do you want to open another one up out here? And I said, I have no idea what the demographics are like. Um, you know, when you're on the Jersey Shore compared to Spokane, Washington, it's like <laughs> night and day. It's right. just totally weird. So um, unfortunately, Ken passed away um, mm -hmm. unexpectedly. And I really didn't know what I was going to do um, because the decision making time was coming up mm -hmm. and I thought, well, you know, my youngest daughter was getting married and, and I said, well, I'm not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, who knows who would buy the business? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I'm going to buy the business. And, um, so I took that leap of faith alone mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and trust me, there were many, many, many sleepless nights <laughs> before the final papers were signed. Um, but I knew that I could carry on the legacy that's been Audrey's because stores, Spokane's longest running privately owned boutique. It's 50 years old. Wow. And, or, or probably a little over 50. And I'm the fourth owner and it's always okay. been. And I knew that I, by owning it, I could now take it to the next level mm -hmm. and make it what it should be. Um, my philosophy with clients, the previous owner's philosophy was, um, and, and I, and I used to say she catered to the 99223 zip code, um, which was the old money. Mm -hmm. and unfortunately, those clients are dying. Right. And, um, you always should be courting that next generation of clients, mm -hmm. no matter what your business is, because, um, once, once you're, if you just pigeonhole yourself into this one thing, what ends up happening is, those clients move, they die, they right. whatever. And your pool of clients keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. But if you're if you're courting that next generation of clients mm -hmm. um, and you know who that next generation is, then you, you always have that pool of new clients, new fresh blood. And right. the other thing with that is it keeps your brand fresh too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I know who my personal target market is, but I still have to look for that other woman. So. Right, right. Well, that's one thing I love about your shop is it's not just old lady dresses. <laughs> you know, it's, no, there's, and there's that's the reputation we had. There, right, right. Yeah. So, so, but yeah, you decided not to change the name because yeah. of that legacy. Right. Right. So, but now that you've had it for several years, you were wondering, like, should I change the name? Uh, you know, I, know, but, I did. Right. But... Right. But I, I think we, like, we kind of talked about like how invested are you in, right. It would cost yeah. a lot of money and time to change your brand. Like you've it got was. your signage and your hang tags and just the brand recognition, I guess um, it would just be very difficult and, time consuming and costly to change the brand. And right. then we, it would be. About, um, like you have your personal brand, Victoria, which is separate, but also related and you can have both. Right. Cause people ask me that all the time. Like, should I have my personal brand just be my business name or can I have both? And how does that work? So I think what you're doing is working 
fine. I think it is. And it, it, and, and, you know, after you and I had kind of talked about this and, and um, some of these wonderful conversations, by the way, that have been going on, on, on your Facebook page, where it's just like, you, it's almost, you get sucked into them. You just, you answer one and then somebody responds and you just, you're like, I got to answer that one again. And you get, you get into it. Um, and we had a really long one going on there for a while. Right, right, in my group. Um, I, yeah, but I, I really thought about this and, you know, you know, people call me the bra whisperer and mm -hmm. I did not name myself. Actually, a customer did that. I this was it. before I even owned the store and it kind of stuck. Mm -hmm. And cause one, you know, the customer hurt, uh, someone else heard somebody call me that and whatever, and it's stuck and it's stuck. And it really, as time went on, um, uh, there were photographs taken of me, not on purpose. Um, uh, Monica Hawkinson had been taking pictures. I was I was going to MC a, a, a Miss Spokane event, mm -hmm. and she was waiting for the girls for their headshots. I said, "Well, I'll be your model," and I pranced around, not realizing she was really taking <laughs> pictures. And she sent me these pictures, and I'm like, "When did you do this?" She said, "When you were prancing around," and they were, you know, I had to say they were pretty decent pictures. And I looked at them and I said. I'm tired of putting models or Getty pictures or something up when I'm doing ads. And I thought, let me put my face on there because mm -hmm. I am the business. Right. So it's a way of putting me there. Like our friend Jennifer Evans, when she mm -hmm. was changing around with Encore events um, to make it events by Jennifer Evans. It's, that's a, it's really scary. I was really nervous about putting one of my photos right. in a print ad um, what was nice was people didn't recognize me right away, oh. which I, I thought was great. <laughs> and, um, you know, cause it took a long time for me. I do my own radio ads and it took a long time for me to voice them. Mm -hmm. Um, and now it's just funny that people will call on the phone and they'll go, are you the bra whisperer? <gasps> oh my God, you're the lady on the radio. It's, it's pretty, but... awesome. <laughs> so I, I don't think I need to change the name of the of the store. I mean, right. it used to be Audrey's A Boutique, which I'm like, come on. Yeah. yeah I, now I just go Audrey's. That's it. Right. You know, there's my big A. I changed <laughs> the logo. I kind of modernized it. Right. Um, That's great. So I made it mine, but kept it mm -hmm. for what it is. Right. Yeah. I love it. Name Perfect. recognition. Yeah. So I wanted to bring you on today to show people how you've, styled a couple of my photography clients and to just give people an idea because one of the number one questions I get is what should I wear for my photos right yeah. so uh, for my personal branding clients a lot of times I'll go to their house and we'll look in their closet and I'll help them choose and sometimes I will suggest you know maybe you should go buy a jacket or a, a new dress or something like that so and a few of my clients have gone to you before their shoot and I'm always just yeah. thrilled when they arrive with these <laughs> beautiful dresses or you know outfits that have been chosen for them they're modern they look good on their body so I would just love to show people like that this is an option for your photo yeah. shoot right sure so let me just show people let me share my screen here let's see I'm so impressed that you can do that screen sharing thing <laughs> yeah well this stream yard software is pretty cool Let's see here. Okay, so here's Jennifer Evans. She was on a couple weeks ago on my show. And she, yeah, she arrived at her shoot with a garment bag full of clothes from Audrey's. And, you know, we just kind of went through and picked, you know, some favorites. And she loved this. Um, I love that there. photo of her. Yeah, this is a great one. We kind of like, I was like, oh, I love these stairs. Let's do one here. And she loved that one. Um, and then... I guess she wore that one for most of them. She really loved this too. Yep. And it worked well with the, you know, the background with the green. And it, she said to me, she's like, when um, Victoria showed this to me, I was like, eh, I don't know if that's me. Yeah. But she loved it and it looks so good on her. Uh, so that's a tip. You know, sometimes a stylist can help you choose something that you might not have chosen for yourself that's going to look amazing. Oh, we take uh -huh. you out of your box. Too. Yeah, right, right. Everyone just wants to pick black, which you and me both like to wear black, but I'm always like, I have a white top color. on today. <laughs> <laughs> so then here's another one, Daria. She yep. also came to you and I loved her outfits. She had these great 
the pleather pants pants that Didn't were she look like, awesome yeah super modern and um young looking for her new shop and then the red of course just looks amazing on her it's her favorite she color. Had her coloring she pops in so much yeah. stuff so it's, right, so, right. it's fun to dress her and then with her husband, Lee. So, okay. So those are just a couple. I didn't dress Lee. You didn't dress Lee. He <laughs> showed up in his golf shirt, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, so those are just some examples. So if someone wanted to come in for help with choosing clothes for their photo shoot, what would that look at? Like, like, should they call and make an appointment or. They should call and make an appointment because this way they'll get me um, uninterrupted. Mm -hmm. um, first up, which is, which is very important. Um, and because of COVID and everything, I'm, I'm short staffed. So I still have to do bra fittings and that sort of yeah. thing. Um, but be prepared. I, I think when you did Jennifer, if I recall correctly, you told Jennifer some places you wanted to do shoots. Yeah. We talked about in advance. Like the rooftop at the right. grand and that sort of so, I, cause I asked her about that and that's what I do. I start out by asking, when is the photo shoot? Mm -hmm. Where is it going to be? Are right. you going to be inside, outside, or both? And if, if they know some of the locations like Jennifer did, mm -hmm. uh, and Daria knew they were going to be inside her shop. Right. If I know, if I can picture what it is you're going to, where you're going to be, mm -hmm. then like with Jennifer, for instance, um, we did pick a formal gown, mm -hmm. which I thought would have been very cool for her to lean on the, the fencing around the rooftop of the Davenport, but um, I don't think you used that because her time yeah, was really had short. Time. She had, she was kind of crunched for time, so we had yeah. We didn't do but all with that. Jennifer, I I looked at color. I looked at um, and I've known Jennifer for years now. Um, with her, it was like let's go with the basics. Let's start with the basics first. She needed that, and and she owned that button down white mm -hmm. collared shirt. That was something she and I had discussed. I think every woman should have one in their wardrobe. Um, the pearls, same thing. It's not an old lady look. It's actually a really classy, um, badass executive kind of a look. And you can tuck the shirt in or leave the shirt out. It doesn't matter. It's all in how you wear it and how you make right. it a little sassy. Maybe you'll pop the collar. Maybe you'll roll up the sleeve a bit. Um, maybe you'll turn the pearls into a, a massive choker or have them length. And again, by how you wear them works with your body. Jennifer's a tall, thin drink of water. Someone right. like myself, who's not tall and not thin, I would wear the pearls in a long version because that'll create that optical illusion of length. Mm -hmm. So what you see in the camera, um, I mean, and you could even say, hey, the pearls aren't working. They're too long on you. Can we shorten them? Right. But you understand what I'm talking about. Yeah. And I, mm -hmm. I try to create the essence of that woman of what she's doing and what her job is. Um, mm -hmm. If I had somebody who came in and said they were a massage therapist, I'm certainly not going to put them into an evening gown. Like right, I have. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, so we're going to do some really sexy, uh, classy uh, athleisure wear. Mm -hmm. It's it's, I try to take that essence and go from there. Take that woman. Right. Where is she going to be? Why are we doing this? And, mm -hmm. and go from, and I try to use clothes that I think that person would wear. Right. Which I think it's is not, super important. Yeah. It's not yeah. stuff that I'm going to wear it for this shoot and then I'm going to call it good. Right. And right. The bit. Yeah. No, yeah. no, that's not how I work. Right. And that's, and, and I, I don't feel bad. Like if you, you ixnay certain clothes, I mm -hmm. really don't because right. I'm not, I'm not in your brain. I only know what I've been told by the person who's getting their photo shoot. Mm -hmm. So, right. Yeah. You know, yeah. You take it from there. And then, you, I mean, Jennifer's photos, I was like, I was just gobsmacked. They were so beautiful. And yeah, that, really that <laughs> the one that you showed her walking through the, the airway at the opera house mm -hmm. with the green jacket, I'm like, oh, I know it looks so good. Fabulous. I know. I love I'm the like, now I wish I had that jacket for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, that's advice I give to people too when they're like, what should I wear? And I'm like, what would you normally wear when you're meeting with a client? Or what would you you know, normally wear when you're doing a massage therapy or whatever? And then maybe take it up a, a little bit for your pictures, you know, take it up a little bit of a notch or just wear what you would normally wear, you know? Um, but sometimes, you know, I think sometimes we get a little casual or lazy in our clothes, some people. And that's why I'm like, maybe you should go buy 
a new outfit <laughs> or two. Well, we get, we, we get what we call uniforms. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I honestly, I love wearing black, but I also wear black for a purpose. Mm -hmm. When I'm working with a client, I don't want colors and patterns interrupting what that client is seeing because I'm standing behind them. So I just try to keep myself as neutral as possible. Um, Me too, as a photographer, actually. Right, as a photographer, you want to you kind of blend in and I, and right. I get that. Um, so for someone like me, I'm used to being photographed in black and, and that's my comfort zone. But I've, I've always explained and I've done, I've done um, talks about this. Our clothing is our armor. And a lot of times I'll say to somebody, they'll say, I have an interview coming up or have this. And my, my answer to them is, what in your closet when you put it on, it, it makes you feel badass? What is your Wonder Woman armor? Because we all have that one thing yeah. that we wear and we go, I'm wearing this and screw you. Right. <laughs> and, and so that's really important because... It, I don't want to say it defines who we are, but at times it is our personal armor. And if we have to go into an uncomfortable situation, better to put on something that makes us feel empowered. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And a photo shoot can be uncomfortable, right? Oh. So the more confident you can come in, the better. And the clothes can really make a difference for that. They do. They yeah. do. And the way you position the women, you in your photos, this is my interpretation is I'm not looking at the clothes because the way the woman, the, that's just part of the whole scenario. Yeah. That woman's face is the focal point every time mm -hmm. I look at your photos. And that's why I love your photos so much. And I'm not saying this people because I'm talking to her. <laughs> so I'm just telling you that right now. But the ease, because I've watched you over the years mm -hmm. where you were like, I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch my live champagne shopping videos, you'll learn some very colorful words. Um, but I've watched you just blossom mm -hmm. over the years. And I'm like, I'm you impress the crap out of me. You really do. And the product that comes out is, I, I think it's phenomenal. I mm -hmm. really do. I mean, everybody's photos. I do. I stalk your pictures. And all. <laughs> I can tell which are your photos. I can oh, tell which one of your photos before that's I even cool. know it's yours. That's mm. how much you have a, a wonderful, distinct um, uh, way of looking at women. Right. I don't remember seeing pictures of men because I was mostly looking at my friends. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I like to photograph men and I, I do and I have, but for the most part, women gravitate to me, I think, because I do make them feel comfortable and look good. So, uh, you know. Yeah. So, right. We've got a few um, questions. Someday I'll look good. <laughs> you look amazing anyway, but um, we've got questions coming in, but I'll save those for the end. I did want to talk about the um, the foundation garment, right? Like that's what you specialize in. Oh. And I think every woman who's having a photo shoot should go get a new bra. <laughs> they should. Yeah, you know, um, and even the weird time, you know, the, the panties sometimes can be a problem underneath, you know, like we want to make sure we're not seeing lines or that they're Muffin lines tops. Underneath or yeah, that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, regardless of whether or not you're going to use your existing clothes, um, take an assessment of your under garments and go get a fitting right. from the or that's, someone in your city that's comparable. Well, that's right? one thing I've always said to people, you know, I would love to be your, your wardrobe person, but if you do nothing else, um, you have to have a good, well-fitting bra. I don't care. Victoria's Secret, they go to a triple D. Don't come in here and tell me that you're a 36B and you've been a 36B since high school because the only thing that fits you from high school are your earrings if you still have them. <laughs> we morph. As women, we morph, we change. It has not, and it's it, maybe you've had children, maybe you've not had children, you've gotten older. I know when I take my bra off at night, my boobs fall right on the floor. I'm old. <laughs> um, so the whole idea is a well-fitting bra that fits you properly and works with the garment you're wearing. Mm -hmm. You know, some of these things where these girls have these little, you know, I do this all the time because where they <laughs> wear these little demi cup things and right. we've got four boobs. No, there's only two of them. Right. I, I could care less. Mm -hmm. I'm not a pretty bra girl. I want you to think I'm taller, younger, and thinner than I am. Mm -hmm. So I wear a bra that hopefully does that right. um, and works with my clothing. Bikinis, mm -hmm. string bikinis. I'm sorry, unless you've got a Kardashian booty, 
it's right. going to cut in and you're going to look like like a hamburger without the meat in it. <laughs> Don't tell me a granny. Well, there's granny girls go, call it granny panties. You know, the high waist mm -hmm. they think is a, no matter what it is, is granny panty. Well, I wear what they call a French cut leg, which is a high cut leg, but it comes up to my waist. So I don't have this bulging. Right, right. You know, yeah. I watch my videos and I'll go, oh my God, you can see my belly. That's <laughs> terrible. Um, you know, even if you just take a video of yourself talking, right. like mm -hmm. put a camera up, nobody has to be in the room and, and, do a video of yourself talking and and like saying a poem or something and then go and look at it and look at your whole presence. Mm -hmm. I have found myself slouching so much during the videos and I, right. I'm actually very aware of that. now. I'm very aware of it sitting here talking to you. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'll look and I'll say, I shouldn't have worn that top. It is a little snug around my belly. Right. You know, yeah. so it, I'm not saying you got to rehearse this whole thing, but you need to be prepared. And it's just like, like the job that you do, you had to be trained for it. You had to have good education for it. If that's your foundation for how you do your professional life. Do, do that with your clothing too. Right. Yeah. And a bra makes all the difference, you know, in photographs, my God. Yeah. And I'm watching for that stuff while I'm photographing you, but we can't change your bra in the middle of a photo shoot if you don't have one that fits, right? Like, so that's And you what... can't ask a client to go like this to hold them up. Right, right. So it doesn't work. It's super important. And a lot of people don't think of that, I think, until maybe the night before, or, you know, you're trying on your clothes and you're like, oh my gosh, these don't fit anymore. And tell them not to wait. Yeah, not to wait. Because what if you have to order their size or or yeah. something like that, right? So yeah, that's super important. Um, so then what are some like general tips, I guess, for women for clothing that's flattering? I mean, I know as a photographer in general, like a tailored jacket is gonna look good on everyone as long as it fits well, right? I know like this coral color can be flattering on most all skin types, you know, like what are some other tips that you have? You should. Okay, it's a lot of it has to do with what you should have in your basic wardrobe. Like I mm -hmm. said, I talked about the a nice structured and I structured like what I have on a shaped blazer that fits you well, mm -hmm. not one that's tight across the tummy. Yeah. But if you don't button it, it's fine. Um, if you are busty, stay monochromatic mm -hmm. or as monochromatic as you possibly can, because you don't want to have a print top and then a solid bottom. Because that's just going to make your, from the waist up, it's going to make you look like a square box. Mm -hmm. So you don't want that. Um, but like the man style shirt, that's what I call the man style shirt, yeah. the collared <laughs> shirt, fitted well, not tight. Right. So it's pulling at the bust or anything. Fitted, fitted well. Um, a jacket, a well fitting jacket, a denim jacket too. Oh, yeah. Because that's a classic. That is a, I have an Eddie Bauer. You've seen me wear it before. I, I have an Eddie Bauer denim jacket that I bought when I first moved here 26 years ago. I still wear it. Um, so it's something that you can take and throw over a really fun cocktail dress mm -hmm. and turn it into something else. I like working with what I call blank canvas clothing. Mm -hmm. In other words, like that evening gown behind me, I forget I'm backwards here. That <laughs> evening gown behind me is not a blank canvas. Mm -hmm. A simple necklace with that and you're done. But right. the jacket <laughs> over there, the back of that jacket, it has a print on it, but it's so muted. So mm -hmm. if you wanted to wear, pick up one of the colors in it, you could do that. Jennifer was wearing um, one, of, one right. of those maxi Cardi's in the photo. And um, she wears the hell out of it. But it's it's something easy, but the lines on it are very clean. And mm -hmm. if clothes fit you properly, you're going to look, You're go first off, you're going to look thinner. Right. I mean, every woman comes in here and goes, I, I, I want to look thinner. Yes, so <laughs> do I. I also want to be five foot nine. But, um, but yeah, so proper shapewear, mm -hmm. clothes that actually fit you. Nobody's going to look at your this inside of your shirt and say, oh, she's wearing a large. Right. Who gives a shit? Nobody cares. <laughs> if it fits you well, you look thinner. If it's too tight, you look fat. Right. And, right. Um, and I'm very honest with people. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm about going about the basics. But then you go to someone like Daria, who's selling shoes. She put on beautiful, bright colors, but she's inside her shoe store where you now, by doing that, we're picking up, you're picking up on her product that's all around her. Right. And she carries this brand called L'Artiste, which, oh my God, I love those shoes. Mm -hmm. um, 
they're they're colorful and where you photographed her with the white fixture and her sitting there it it made that whole picture just blossom in my eyes i thought it was a fantastic picture of her um and again i wasn't looking at her clothes i looked at the whole picture and i looked at her beautiful face right. which right. really what you're trying to do um it's like i tell clients when you're buying clothing, just think of it this way, it's general terms. When you're buying clothing, the idea is that somebody's approaching you, their eyes, you automatically, no matter who you're walking towards, you start at their feet and you work your way up. Don't let there be something in the middle or at your ass or at your bust or somewhere that makes their eyes stop. Mm -hmm. You want that whole attention brought up to that person's face. And that's right. really what the focal point is. Yeah. And that's always my goal, of course, is the face in a photo shoot. So. Right. But I liked your tip of starting with the basics and then for a photo shoot, if we can have layers, it's going to save time because Perfect. You know, putting yep. on a jacket makes it a totally new outfit, but you didn't have to go into the bathroom to change or, you know, if we're outside, like finding a place to change. So if we can have different layers or, you know, accessories to change things up quickly, that's a good tip. It's so, going back to that picture of Jennifer with that, I call it the woodland long coat. If right. we had taken that coat off of her and put her denim jacket on, it would have right. been a totally different look. Right. And that's how I do try to teach clients when they're trying to build a wardrobe, buy a bunch of jackets, do your basic tops, but change your jacket out. A lot of times people see me and I I own the same style. I own three pairs of the same style pant from uh -huh. Liverpool love these pants. They're great. You don't know that I'm wearing the same style pants three days in a row because I keep changing my jackets and I right. keep changing my tops. And that is a very, I'm not going to say inexpensive, but it's a very, uh, very finance, fiscally responsible way of updating your wardrobe. Right, right. Plus it makes it easy to choose. I, I have a simple wardrobe too, because I don't want to spend a bunch of time deciding what to wear in the morning. It's just like, yeah. I got black top, black shirt. <laughs> with a I, I, my biggest decision is what color mask am I going to wear? And what, and I, cause I wear funky socks. Mm -hmm. What, what color socks am I going to wear today? Yeah, yeah. Right. Cause I adopted the, uh, the, the fun can, uh, Converse sneaker uh, oh, yeah. fashion mode during this pandemic. Right. Today we're in, we're in silver sparkles today. Nice. Awesome. With socks with roses on. Cool. <laughs> I'm not socks with dirty words like I usually do. Yeah. That's great. Uh, okay. So I thought I'd just share some tips for people for on the day of the shoot, how to bring your clothes, because yep. I'm always surprised. Sometimes people come with them wadded up into a bag or like with pet hair all over them or something. So <laughs> you're killing me. <laughs> I know. Right. I'm just like, this is a photo shoot. Um, so bring your clothes on hangers, right? Make sure they're pressed or steamed or whatever. Um, it helps to put them in a garment bag, especially in Spokane here. Weather can be unpredictable. You don't want to have snow or, you know, mud splashed up on your clothes or something in transit. Um, and then a lint yeah, brush. bring a lint, yeah, brush. lint brush. I have a roller in my thing, you know, just in case, but it can save time. You know, we want to spend our time taking pictures, not... Yeah cleaning up and steaming your clothes. Um, so make sure they're lint free, um, bring several outfits. You know, I've had some people show up for headshots with like whatever they're wearing. And I'm like, you didn't bring any other, you know, extras to try. Sometimes we don't know until we're on camera what That's it's right. like in the picture, right? So e mm -hmm. even if it's your favorite thing ever, it might not look as flattering in the pictures. So bring several outfits to try um, for variation. So those are my tips for day of. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's go to some questions here. So, Kevin, I he's, can't them. Oh, yeah, I'll read it. I'll let, actually, if I click on this, it will show it, which is pretty cool. Oh. Okay, so Kevin, he's a photographer in Boston, actually. Um, oh, Kevin says, Is this choosing the clothing and go out and buying, or do we team with a fashion consultant? Okay, Kevin, so I have a little bit of a fashion background. So for my personal branding clients, I'll go to their home sometimes and help them choose. But Victoria is a boutique owner. And so sometimes I do recommend, you know, go buy yourself a couple new outfits and I'm not doing that shopping with them or going with them. That's why I'm sending them to someone like Victoria that is an expert and can help them, you know, especially if they go in, like she said, knowing like we're going to do the shoot at this location and I'm trying to portray this kind of thing with my brand and she can help them. So you don't have to go out and shop with them unless you want to. I know you probably don't want to, <laughs> um, or well, you can 
team up with a stylist that or a and I do that. loan I do loan clothes sometimes oh, okay. to um to some uh, to some of my clients that are having photo shoots done mm -hmm. um not everybody right uh, and um because there is a risk in that for sure. me yeah but there are times like I'll have somebody in, and they might need to have a formal gown mm -hmm. well yeah okay I'll loan you the formal gown right. you know I'm not gonna make you spend three hundred dollars on a gown would I may you, loan you something maybe like huh? do you would you charge like a fee like a rental fee or something have you ever done that I've never done that because it's mostly with people I trust right um I've I've loaned uh evening wear to a lot of the uh newscasters when they're uh, emceeing things and mm -hmm. I know they never come back ruined Right, right. Very careful. Um, so I'm very, I'm picky about who I do right. that with. But at the same token, um, I understand if somebody is, you know, trying to do a startup business and stuff, and I know money is tight. Believe me, I understand that. I get it. Um, I will at times, and I use my judgment, and it's it's a crapshoot for me, but I can at times loan the clothes to them mm -hmm. as long as I get them back within 24 hours of the shoot. Right. Yeah. Well, like you said, too, you're mostly helping them pick clothes that they're hopefully going to wear anyway. So they should just right. buy them. But like you said, maybe a formal gown or something. That's something. Okay. Tessa says, colors. I love colors, but I have no idea what goes with my skin tone. How do I figure this out? I would don't say, do don't that don't stupid. Work. I'm a fall. <laughs> I'm a winter. Right. I don't want to hear that crap. <laughs> Put um, clothes on that and look in the mirror at yourself and watch your lighting because in my store you can go from ugly fluorescent lighting and which is grays you out to nice you know warm yellowing lighting so things will change in different lighting and and talk to tanya about um i'm going to be outside so all of my photos are outside so let's look at you in outside lighting right you know if you know that already yeah um but please don't do that. I, I wish I had thought of that because we'd be rich by now. <laughs> but um, yeah, I still, to this day, it's like, what, 30 years, 40 years later. And I still get people coming in going, I'm a winter. I don't look at that color. And then I put the color on. I'm like, oh, I look fabulous. <laughs> cool. That's good advice. So yeah, just trying them on and seeing, you know, how it looks. Uh, how do you feel in it? Right, right. Yeah. And I, I recommend that you do it without makeup on. Mm, because it'll go with your natural skin tone. Right. If it looks good without makeup on, it's going to look even better when you put your yeah, makeup on. That's, that's a really good point. Right, yeah. And thinking about the lighting too, like if you are doing Zoom calls and stuff, try it on the camera with the lighting you're doing. That's a, a good tip too for the lighting. Okay, let's see. We've got a new realtor getting headshots in a week. Cool. Are you in Spokane? Why didn't you call me? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Kevin says, Victoria is hilarious. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. I'm from New York and New Jersey, Kevin, by the way. Can you go get me some good bagels? Right. Um, out here? <laughs> Kevin says, I would wear a hoodie every day if I could. Um, you know what? I kind of decided for myself as a photographer. I'm like, what am I going to, what's going to be my uniform? And I mean, I'm rolling around on the ground sometimes. We're climbing yeah. stairs. I'm hauling gear. So I, I try to wear something that looks decent, but it's comfortable. It's it's athleisure wear. Um, it's, you know, cotton with this a little bit of stretch. But it has uh, polish to it. Yeah, but it, it's clean lines. I'm not wearing anything with, you know, grungy logos or holes or anything. Um, so, you know, if you want to wear a hoodie, that could be your brand, Kevin. Like maybe it has your logo on it yeah. and, you know, a nice black one that um, isn't faded or anything. Go for it. I, I say, I don't know. <laughs> I don't walk around with a bra on. But I mean, you know, I clean <laughs> right. on the outside of my clothes. Wait, what the hell I said? I, I, I don't do that. But yeah, I mean, people recognize my logo. You can see it behind mm -hmm. me, the big A. And honestly, if you're doing outside photos, like Tanya said, then if and it's cold out, well, right. sure, put on a hoodie. Yeah. Get your logo as big as you can on your back because mm -hmm. people who are going, hey, look, they're getting their picture taken. Isn't right. that nice? They're going to look at your back and say, yeah. oh, I saw that. That looks familiar. Right which I should do. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I keep saying I'm going to. <laughs> I just never have. Uh, okay. Nikki says, my favorite stuff doesn't photograph well. I think that's just nice to know, right? If you're like, my favorite clothes don't look great in the photos, maybe, you know, you try something else. Um, like I said, sometimes you just don't know until you get it on the photo, on the camera, or maybe you don't have a great photographer. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know? That's what I was going to say, because I've seen photos and, and, 
I go, that doesn't look good on them. But if your clothes don't photograph well, maybe they don't look good on you to start. Yeah. That's something you should think about. Yeah. And that's why you should go to someone like you. Maybe. Yeah. I'm very honest. I'm never going to hurt your feelings. And, and I, I respect that you might have a garment that you love and you love to wear, but it, I, and I'm very honest with people. This is my opinion and it's all every, you know, style subjective. Right. Um, if you've ever seen my badass beauties photo, my rule was I wanted them all in black because this was what I was doing. <laughs> and, um, but I, the pieces came from here, but they had to style them on their own. And you see, Everything from, you know, executive like Susan Ash to um, my my daughters in that picture with the leather jacket, um, and Ronnie Rhino now has the the wild fishnet stockings with the tulle skirt and all that. I mean, you you need to be who you are, mm -hmm. but sometimes you have to step away from that, right, and go out of that box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and have it helps to have someone else look and and tell you. I think give you yeah. an opinion. And I yeah. I will I I will tell clients like they're trying on dresses and stuff, and I, and I and I before I take them out of the fitting room, I say I will be honest with you. I'll tell you if I like something, but I will also tell you if I don't like something, and I will tell you why. Mm -hmm. Because there's women like myself who they're five foot two and they think they should wear t length dresses, and I'm like, you look like you're a trunk and no legs. <laughs> right. You know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, Kevin did say he did make his hoodie into his uniform. I love it. Great. Okay. Uh, oh, Nikki says she's in Tacoma. I thought you were over there. <laughs> okay. Wendy says, I want to consult with you too on marketing and a headshot. Always over there. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, you're she adorable, Wendy. You're she also cute. asked if she can make an appointment with you. Where was that comment? Oh, right here. Okay. You can just give us, give us a call. You're down to, to two bras. Oh, dear God. Every woman should have three bras in their arsenal minimal. And just so you know, little plug, bra sale starts March 29th, Ooh, April hey. 10th. And Good. since you're watching this video, you can come in now. Give us a call at 509-324-8612 and make your bra fitting appointment. <laughs> awesome. That was shameless. That was a great plug. Um, so, Wendy, yeah, um, let's schedule a call, too, <laughs> and talk about your experience, <laughs> but... Um, someone says my two favorite ladies. I'm not sure who this is. Highly recommend Close from Victoria and Pictures by Tanya. They both capture spirit. Oh, they're anonymous. Uh, anonymous. Well, if they don't give StreamYard permission to show their name, we can't tell who oh, they are. Okay. Yeah. So thank you, whoever you are. <laughs> okay. So I didn't really have any other questions. Is there anything else you want to share? I, or well, I mean, I mean, I think we shared a lot with what was going on with the clothing and stuff. Um, now. And Tanya and I have had this conversation because, um, uh, you know, we're, we're in a pandemic. You know, we're still in this pandemic thing. Um, I, you know, small businesses such as my own. I mean, I've been working my ass off. Right. And it's like, you know, at the beginning, I was taking clothes home and doing videos from home. I brought the credit card machine home. I think I would have made more money having phone sex with people and running their credit cards. But that's another story. But money's tight. Mm -hmm. And it's and and I've I've been very upfront with Tanya about this. I really would love for to have a session with her, mm -hmm. um, but right now it's like I I'm looking at my ROI. I'm also right. starting finally um, to put together a, a website. Uh, it's oh, slow. Yeah. I was kind of hoping March first would have been my my launch date, but that wasn't happening. But it'll happen. So it's now it's a matter of saying to a photographer who you trust, whether it's it's Tanya or it's somebody else. Um, this is what I want to do. Right. You know, and this well, is where I'm at financially. Like I did with Jennifer, it was kind of like a mini session. Yeah. So, you know, if you are doing a website and you know, okay, I need like five to 10 pictures specifically for my website, mm -hmm. we could probably do that quickly yeah. you know, and do it. And it would be less than the whole shebang. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's totally something I'm willing to look at and do custom. But a lot of people don't think of that as being, um, uh, uh, they look at it and it's expensive. I mean, I, that yeah. was me seven mm -hmm. years ago. And I was, that's why I was so grateful when Monica gave me those photos. Of course I'm like, oh, sure. you know, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> cause I was goofing around, but, um, 
I've been asked to do talks and I do talks for different organizations and they're always asking for a headshot. So I'm, I'm, right. I'm still using a headshot from, from before I had two chins. Mm -hmm. um, so I do need a new headshot. Yeah. Um, well, but it's, where's your ROI? It's a tax write-off, right? For your business. It's something yeah. that you are going to be able to use over and over. I mean, how many times have you used that, that headshot that you're using? Like, you know, you, but you paid for it once and you can use it for years or however long before you get right. tired. <laughs> or, or you change get, it. Or I get really or, old looking. Yeah, right, right. I know. I see some realtors, especially like their hairstyle and their pictures from the 80s. And I'm just like, okay, you well, obviously the, need to update The one your thing I don't like, I've seen some, some, mm. some um, realtors and some of them are friends of mine even, that they're using selfies. And I don't oh, think yeah. that's appropriate. Yeah, I think. it's not professional. No. It shows that you you haven't cared enough to, you know, go get a headshot. So yeah. whether you have one with me or, you know, there's plenty of other, there's plenty of places you could get a headshot for affordable, right? Mm -hmm. So Stacy asks, recommendations for clients that are trying to lose weight, the never ending battle. Okay, this is a great question. <laughs> so I say to you and to everyone <laughs> who brings this up, um, your weight doesn't matter. Like Victoria said, no one cares if you're a large or an extra large or whatever size you are you need to put your face out there for your business, right? And if you have the right bra, the right clothes, the right photographer, the right lighting, we can make you look your best as you are now. And it, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter how much you're going to look at your picture and say, that chick has her shit together. Right. That's what they're going to do. Right. And and we can always show you the pageant pose. Right. Where you, stand, <laughs> you put your hips this way and you stand like this. So you actually look thinner than you are. Mm -hmm. I was in passions in high school, so I know that pose very well. But yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, unless you're right now in a program designed to help you lose weight and you have a coach and you're lo actively losing weight and you know I'm going to be thinner in three months, then I would say don't wait. Like, just go get it done. Your body is how it is now and it's beautiful and nobody cares if okay. you're overweight. <laughs> And here's here's the thing. I get women coming and going, well, I, I'm I'm losing weight. I don't want to buy a bra now. But meanwhile, your girls are half out of the yeah. fucking thing you're wearing. And, you're so uncomfortable. So, yeah. and you're not, you know, until you get that stuff up, you're not going to realize how much weight you've already lost. Yeah. With so, look. yeah. I yeah. mean, my, my mentality with every woman that walks into Audrey's boutique is you're all beautiful. You just don't know it. Mm -hmm. And so we, we take you in, we take your lemonade and make champagne out of it. We take your lemons and make lemonade. So there you go. <laughs> And yeah. then Tanya goes and go, and takes all of it and makes it that really million dollar bottle of champagne. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, yeah, same thing. Like I see beauty in everyone. Um, I've struggled with my weight my whole life. So I get it. You know, if you come to me and you're a little insecure about that, I'm going to do everything I can to make you look flattering and feel comfortable and confident no matter what size you are. So I think that's a great question because I, I think that holds a lot of people back from making it. Does. You know. I mean, I'm 61 years old and I honestly, I, I, every morning I look in the mirror and I go, oh my God, that's my grandmother, Lydia. What is she doing in the mirror? You know, it is what it is, but you know how you look at yourself. We're our own worst critics. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. And, and we get women that come in here and they're like, well, I don't like this about me. And they're pointing down around under their bus line or something. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, but I'm looking at the whole of yeah. you. Nobody's you are a Barbie doll for me. <laughs> right. Right. And when you take a picture, you look at the whole of that woman. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen a picture where um, I go, what the hell was she thinking? Right. It's, everything is beautifully framed out. Um, I look at those pictures. I mean, I seriously, the shots of, of people I know that you've done and people I don't know that you've mm -hmm. done. I, it, they make me look at the picture and that's really what you want. You don't want them looking at the yeah. picture going, what the hell? Right. You want right. them going, wow. Yeah. And, and a picture like that, honestly, I mean, it can, it can make, make or break. Say you're a realtor mm -hmm. and there's the realtor with the, with the selfie, you know, where they're like, mm -hmm. and then there's a picture that was professionally done, such as like someone like Tanya or somebody else. And which one are you going to go with? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's like oh, junkyard I, dog or Cadillac. Right, right. You know, um, Amy Kozaravi, do you know yeah. her? Yeah, um, oh, very well. I, yeah, I do their billboards every year. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, for their ad campaigns. Uh, and she's told me like several times, someone will call. And she's like, well, 
who did you hear about me from? And they're like, well, I saw your picture in the Spokane magazine and you just look nice. And then she's getting like, you know, half a million, million dollar listings from her picture. So like, I mean, yeah. and I, that's not an unusual thing. I mean, that's why I do what I do, right? That's why I started this business because I was a designer making ads for people with these crappy pictures. And I'm like, this picture is not doing you any favors. You right. need a picture that's gonna make people look at you and make a judgment about you that is gonna make them want to call you. I you remember know. Amy's, I remember the the photo that they used with Amy's realty office that was on a billboard. It was the first time I saw it. And I went, that's a Tanya picture. I, yeah. I'm driving by yeah. and I went, and I, I, I sent Amy a note and I said, did Tanya, Tanya did your pictures. And she goes, yeah, how'd you know? Oh, that's so cool. I love it's it. It's just a flavor. It's just yeah, a really, right. it's a really nice flavor. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, maybe for those of you who are looking at this going, well, you know, I, I want them. Maybe. Tanya's flavor isn't your flavor, right. but I think she's, you should go talk to her and then you decide if it's going to work. And I, I don't know if you do this. I mean, I get people that come in my store and I really don't have quite what they want, but I know who I can send them to who does. Right. Right. And that's why, I mean, maybe you might say, you know, I'm not the one that is going to do the, what you would like me to do. I can't do that justice. Mm -hmm. However, here's my recommendation and this is why I recommend them. And yeah. again, it's always we're all small businesses here and you know um well you're getting to be huge you well, are really you're just like big shits <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> i said big boobs you you just <laughs> but it's it's we all have to help each other mm -hmm. yeah and, well, um, it is important to choose a photographer you feel comfortable with and that you love their images you know so i don't you know i people who are just going to pick based on the price or something. No. It's not gonna work for you very well. Like pick someone you like and then figure out how to make it work. <laughs> yeah. Financially, you know, because otherwise it's gonna be a waste of your time. I get a lot of people who come to me after they hired someone else and they're like, that we couldn't use the pictures in our marketing. They were terrible or they just didn't work. You know, they were pretty but didn't work for our ads. So you want to pick someone who's a good fit for you yep. and who you love. So um anyway, well I don't, there's no other was this question. Fun? It was very it fun. Was I'm fun. loving doing this. So yeah, somebody suggested to me, they're like, why don't you interview your clients and, and collaborators live? And I was like, why am I not doing that? So it's been very fun to have conversations with the people that I love and that I've gotten to work with. So thanks for coming. Hey, and I, I, I thank you. I enjoyed this very much. It was, it was nice not having to do my own, my own video thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is my TV wall, folks. So at three o'clock every Tuesday and Thursday, click on to Audrey's Boutique Spokane and watch Champagne Shopping Live. Sometimes yeah, and I don't even know what we're going to talk about till half an hour before. Right, right. Can people from out of town order from you, or yeah. are you mostly focusing mm -hmm. on local? I, I actually, I have clients um, from Alaska to Florida and Jersey. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cool. I because of doing the videos, I have been getting clients from all over. Um, so it's 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 kind of interesting because you know it was a survival thing. Yeah. Well, I think and it's the best thing you've ever done for your marketing. Like COVID is the best thing that happened. You know, I mean, not great because you're you can't have as many people yeah. come to the store, but that jump started you into doing it did. video, which it is, made me go out of my box. Right. Yeah, and it's not something be afraid you can to hit a button for free right in your store. You know, you're not having to pay a news station or any you know a tv station to do commercials for you or anything it's just no and it's fun, it's fun to watch I, I wish i had people like to set up the thing and <laughs> right. um, well i did the thing with the business banking on business stcu you know for q6 a few weeks ago and i was like oh this is so nice they're setting it all up for right. me you're this sure. is really great <laughs> and then, and then when I did the, the chocolate decadence or days of decadence thing with Jennifer and the spokesman review, and I was like, wow, I don't have to put my <laughs> ring light up with my camera. And, and, you know, look, look, there's somebody photographing me with a real camera. This is yeah. great. This. <laughs> I want people. Yeah. I want to have enough sales so I can have people. <laughs> but it's yeah, fun. Totally. It's fun, uh, and um, I'm glad it was well received. And 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 I love that you're doing these. I, I catch them mostly afterwards because right. I'm usually working. Yeah. But um, you know, honestly, I, I I appreciate everything you do, and 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 I love that you you know you've 
talked with Jennifer and you're talking with me and you're talking with local businesses. And I'm a big proponent of the buy local, give local mentality. So thank you for inviting me. I appreciate it. Yeah. You're welcome. And everyone go get a bra fitting. I go, I go for mine with Victoria. She's super helpful. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she'll take care of you. So uh, yeah. bra sale March 29th through April oh, yes. 10th, but you need Don't to forget. come in. You can come in now and call us for an appointment. It's better. Okay. You'll okay. like it. You'll have such a good time. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you. I'm going to sign off now and we'll Bye, everybody. Later. Bye. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.